What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel where I make helpful guides to help you through Fallout 4. In this video I'll be showing you where you can get a couple of snipers for free near the start of the game. There are a few places to get it, but this is probably the easiest. We'll actually be getting two types of snipers. Depending if you like guns or energy weapons, it's up to you which one you use. Firstly, we're going to have the energy weapon sniper. It's basically a modded charging laser sniper that does 46 damage per hit. But it's been upgraded so that you can rapid fire very quickly with it, which can be used very effectively. It also has a long range scope. You can upgrade it further yourself, so it does 79 damage. The only drawback of this weapon is that it has a low accuracy and a low range for a sniper. The other sniper though is a bit more conventional. It's called the Hardened Sniper. It does 50 damage per shot, however it has a much slower rate of fire because it's bolt action. But that said, you can upgrade this weapon so it does more damage as you can see in the video. With the 50 cal upgrade it does 70 damage. You can also upgrade it to have a lot better range and accuracy than the energy weapon sniper. It also uses 308 ammo which is the most common ammo type in the game. So as you can see each weapon has pros and cons but it's up to you which one you use. I'll now show you how you can get both of them. So starting from Sanctuary just here on the map you're going to go directly east and you'll probably go across this mine and this satellite dish is a pretty useful landmark. Just walk straight past that and you'll come to Tenpenny's Bluff and then keep going right and by that time you should see this overpass just here. I'll show you in a second but that's the location we're heading to. So that's Tenpenny's Bluff, that little hut on the hill there and behind us uh, this is the overpass. There's actually a crash plane down there. But we want to go to this location here with the windmills. So do take care as you approach because there is a turret aiming down this ramp here. But I'm going to show you a sneaky way we can get past that. There's really not many enemies at this location which is why it's such a good place to get the sniper at a very low level. So we're just going to head up here and I'm using the railway rifle at the moment which is a very powerful weapon for a low level as you're going to see because it's just going to destroy these guys. I'll leave a link in the description as to where you can get that. But if we just come up here that turret which is just on that bunker there cannot see us. To be honest though this railway rifle will destroy it in one shot but we don't need to worry about it at all. So if we come through here there should be a guy hanging around here. You can see his head just through that door there. So he's going to shoot him right in the head. Oh, and I missed. And I missed again. Well, I just shoot him normally because VAPS is terrible. Oh god, hi there. Come out and play. So he's dead. Literally, it only takes one shot to kill them. And the turret's killing dog meat, so I'm going to have to take it out. As you can see, one shot, it's dead. This is actually a pretty good place to get laser rifles as well because all of these guys are holding them, apart from this guy because he's thrown here somewhere and I don't know where it's gone. This guy should have one though. Railway spikes and he's got a focused laser rifle. It's actually a pretty good gun, let's just have a quick look. So it's a, it's a laser rifle that has increased fire rate, so it's like a rapid fire one, which is pretty good, but it does go through ammo very quickly. Now, the sniper should be somewhere around here. I don't know where he's gone. There he is. I can't actually see him. Let me just jump over here and we'll go kill him. You are seriously fucked, you know that? Am I fucked, really? Boom, he's dead. So here we go. Here's the hardened sniper rifle, which I'll show you in a second. But he's also got some 308 rounds and a stim pank. And that's it actually. Let's have a quick look. Because there's something else I want to show you before ending this video. So, hardened sniper rifle does 50 damage, which is really good. Especially this early on in the game. And obviously, it's got over 200 range, which is also very good. What's funny about the. Um, if we just come back in here, guys, I want to show you something. Because there is a chest to loot here, which has some decent loot in. I must say. Oh, for goodness sake. 
Lock picking is the bane of my life. Why? No, surely that is the right place. It was the right place a second ago. Sweet. Um, frag mine and some radex. There's actually a even better sniper, which I'll leave a link to in the description. But it's um, quite a way away from this location, which is why I wanted to sh do a separate video showcasing this one. So if we go up here, we can take the lift here, upwards, onto the balcony. And there's actually no raiders here, oddly enough. There's just these awesome windmill power generators you can see. So you can actually use this place as a bit of a base, as a bed here you can sleep in. But more importantly, there is a charging laser sniper rifle which is pretty awesome. Now, some of you guys may remember that I also made a video not too long ago on where to find a different laser sniper rifle. That was basically a modded musket. That sniper rifle is a lot better, though it's a little bit harder to get. You can potentially, though, do about 300 damage in a single shot with it. Plus, with a sneak attack, you can get 600 damage out of it. So check out the link in the description on where to get that if you're interested. You can also subscribe to the channel for more Fallout 4 guides and I, ESO, will see you, loyal subscriber, in the next Fallout 4 video.